What it do, YouTube? MJM for Life here, back again bringing you some more OU battles. This time using an, a Sun team that uh, features Dragon Dance, Latios, and um, Venusaur with Earthquake on it. So um, <clears throat> we're going up against a Weatherless team. First match here, and uh, he leaves off with his Heatran. I guess expecting my Ninetales. I let off with Ninetales because he has no weather, so um, I really don't care. Uh, so now, um, switch out to my Rotom. Expecting him to switch out with off his Heatran. I'm going to go for the... Um, the will o -Wisp. Now I'm going to Volt Switch on the Jellicent. Really don't know why you would switch a Jellicent into a Rotom because he can't really do much to it. But um, anyway, here I'm just going to switch into my Ninetales because I do not fear Jellicent. I'm also half predicting a, um, a will o -Wisp or a Toxic, either one. Uh, will o -Wisp obviously being the better of the two for me. Um, now he goes on to his Cloyster. I'm just going to leave in Ninetales and uh, if he tries to Shell Smash on my face, I'm just going to Fire Blast him to hell. But that doesn't happen. He's a little bit smarter than that, so he's going to go for the Rock Blast. And uh, now I'm just going to go back into Rotom. Rotom kind of wrecks his team because he doesn't have anything that can um, stop me from Volt Switching. So he does opt to just Icicle Spear, I guess, maybe thinking that Cloyster would be useless. Um, so I just, I'm just going to kill that with one hit because Cloyster has paper thin special defenses. And now I'm going to go on to Latios. <coughs> That physical Latios, which is a big threat to his team, actually. Uh, so he's going to go out into Magnazone. Magnazone has no chance. I'm just going to Earthquake that thing to hell. And uh, take that Magnazone. Straight up O-code it. Um, and uh, Earthquake on Latios. It's really good because no one expects it. And here, I wanted a Dragon Dance expect, you know, like, because I was like, what can he really do to me? But then I was like, if he switches it in, he must have a reason to. So um, I went for the Earthquake. He protected, which was completely random, I thought. Another chance where I wanted a Dragon Dance, but I figured, I know I'm, I actually don't run max speed, so I thought he was just going to outspeed me with a U-turn and potentially kill me. I didn't want that to happen, so uh, I'm going to uh, go to Gliscor, scout for the Eden Power Ice with the Protect, but he switches out, which means he doesn't have it. Now he switches in his Heatran, I guess thinking that it would outspeed me, but I actually do run a lot of speed EVs in my glide score, so it's definitely not going to outspeed me. Uh, now he switches out into his Venusaur, and uh, he sleep powders, I guess, expecting me to switch, but I really have no reason to switch here. Now my plan was to um, <clears throat> just get this Venusaur as low as possible, so that I could come back in with my Venusaur and revenge kill it, so what I'm going to do is leave glide score in, because at this point, um, I really don't need him that much, now that I know his Mian Chao doesn't have him power ice. Um, <clears throat> Um, my v anyway, uh, my Venusaur can pretty much clean up the rest of the game since his Heatran is gone. Um, so, uh, basically what I did there was I protected because I wanted him to finish me off with the Giga Drain, but I wanted to have as low amount of health as possible so that he wouldn't get that much back from the Giga Drain plus leftovers gain so that he would be in range of my Venusaur's Hidden Power Fire. So now I'm going to go into my Venusaur and I'm going to hit a Power Fire from this range. It's a definite kill with max uh, special attack plus life orb and in the sun. Um, critical hit definitely did not matter. Seeing how much damage those earthquakes were doing to him, it's pretty, I'm pretty sure positive it wasn't defensive. Um, so he's just going to fake out uh, his last attempt to try and win the game. And um, that doesn't do that much, so now I'm just going to solar beam, solar beam the rest of his guys. And uh, that's going to be game one. So won that one pretty easily. And uh, Latios, I guess, kind of surprised him. Didn't really expect that. Um, so now uh, the next game we're going to get into after a couple of seconds. Um, I believe it's against a sand team. We'll see what happens. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Probably should have cut this out. Alright, here we go. So it's against a sand team now. This game I made a, some some very, very uh, bad plays. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you're going to see what happens. So I'm gonna, expecting him to lead off with the Tyranitar. Uh, so I'm going to lead off with my Gliscor. And um, waiting for him. I think he took uh, he uh, took a while. But uh, I guess he, he leads off with the Rotom. I guess expecting either my Ninetales or something other. Sort of like a Tyranitar counter. So I, uh, that was a really good... Uh, start for him and not so great for me but what I can do is protect and uh, get up get my toxic orb so then when I switch back in I will I, um, I can absorb statuses and things of that nature so um I'm gonna um uh, protect and then uh, he switches out and I'm, I switch into my Rotom so that right there kind of is hinting towards the fact that he might be choice because he was obviously predicting one um my switch into something else and now uh, the reason why he if he if he didn't go for volt switch expecting my switch then that means he was probably locked into um Hydro Pump, which is at least my rationale. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into Fortress, um, trying to um, <clears throat> get him to trick me, uh, just so that I don't have to deal with that thing outspeeding my uh, shit anymore. And uh, what I, I really want to go for a Rapid Spin, uh, but he does have the Jellicent, and just in case he Volt switched into that, I just wanted to go for the Stealth Rock. That's kind of what I was expecting. I didn't really expect him to trick so early, um, but at the same time, in the back of my mind, I. I I felt that uh, Fortress was the best thing to get tricked, so either way, I it was beneficial for me. And now here's where I just make a really, really stupid play. Um, first of all, I should have went into Fortress and just Volt switched and got some initiative. If he went into Gliscor, I really would that really wouldn't have hurt me that much because I do have Rotom. 
And now here, I was like, okay, well, he, this is, he knows this is a losing battle, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double switch into Ninetales, expecting his Rotom to come in. Right, 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 wrong. So you're going to see that um, me overthinking it um, costs me very, very much, as he just straight up goes for the frustration, I guess, thinking, fuck it, you only live once. But uh, that was definitely a losing battle for him. That frustration only did 44%, plus pl Protect plus Poison Heal would have given me that. So now what I'm going to do here is go for the Dragon Dance, because I know for sure that he's not going to want to take a Draco Meteor, since he's going to be slower than me. And um, the reason, I and now I'm going to go for a second Dragon Dance, hoping that Crunch won't do too much because he's burned, <clears throat> and um, it does way, way more than I would have liked it to do. And I knew I needed two Dragon Dances because now that the sun is up, Stoutland can just outspeed me anyway, so getting up one Dragon Dance and killing it wouldn't have mattered, but then the problem is, is now I'm in a, like a uh, paradox because now that I'm low, um, it, Lucario can just extreme speed me, and at this point I really can't do much against this team. Um, <clears throat> The combination of Lucario plus Stoutland, um, my Glasgow is already low, so Stoutland is going to get a kill on something. And I was like, ah, it's just, it doesn't, I don't really see myself winning that one. So uh, that, those couple of mistakes really hurt me, so I cut out the uh, weight there. So now we're going to get into this uh, last battle, and it's against the Rain team. So you already know I'm leading off with the Rotom, expecting him to lead off with the Politoed. And uh, looking at his team, I think Rotom is just in general a good lead against his team. So if he leads off with Heatran, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to Hydro Pump because uh, nothing on his team really wants to take a Hydro Pump outside of Dragonite. And um, I have plenty of, plenty of counters for checks for Dragonite. So uh, he switches out into his Politoed, which I, I really don't know why because he really can't do anything to me. So I really have no reason not to just Volt Switch out of here. And that's exactly what I do as he goes on to his Heatran this time. So uh, now I was going to go to Latios, but I was like, I already made enough dumb plays for one day. Let's make a smart play, for example, for a change. There's no reason to go out to Latios right now, even though I'm pretty sure it could just set up on the t tram But if it has hidden power ice, like I just, there's just so too many. It's just there's just no reason for me to do that. So instead, I'm gonna go out into Glide Score because I do run Speed EV, so I know I will outspeed this heat tram It's because it's looking like to be the specially defensive one. So I'm just gonna go for the er Earthquake, and um, <clears throat> actually, that I get a crit on his uh, Espeon, which is unfortunate for him, but. You know, that happens, and I was getting hacked all day, so it was about time I, some justice happened. So here, uh, he goes out into his Cloyster. I'm going to go out to Rotom because uh, Rotom is a, a really good check to Cloyster uh, if it's at full health. <laughs> um, and I'm, I checked the Icicle Spear. Um, uh, not too well. I mean, I guess it does... It does a lot more than I would like it to, honestly. Um, but uh, Rotom is a big threat to his team because he has no ground type, so I can just Volt Switch whenever I want. So now I'm going to Volt Switch again on his uh, Brit, and then he brings in his I'm going to go into uh, Ninetales. And uh, here I really could have double switched, but I didn't. Figured there was no reason to, for me to do that. Just going to go for the will o -Wisp. I really don't care if he switches into Heatran. Um, now here uh, I went for the Roar. Um, expecting him probably to go for Stealth Rocks or try to overpredict, um, but. He does over predict and goes for Dragon Pulse. I guess expecting my Latios to come in. Um, now I'm just going to double switch into my uh, Glyscore after I roll him into his Breloom because I expected the Heatran to come back in. So now I can just click Earthquake again. Again, if he switches into Dragon, I, I can take that on. He switches into anything. Nothing on the team really wants to take a, um, an Earthquake except for maybe um, Cloyster and Breloom. But he goes out into his Cloyster here. And now I was expecting him to go for his Shell Smash. So I figured, okay, I'll just get an Earthquake off. Hope that he has the. My, the he keeps the defense drop and then, um, you know, do a good amount of damage. But I end up being faster, so in hindsight, I really would have liked to taunt that thing. But now it's like, oh shit. Um, well, I can uh, go into Fortress. That's what I wanted to do um, and, and take a, a potential Rock Blast. But I didn't really want to take an Ice Ice of Conspiracy plus Rock Blast combo. So I was like, I'll just go into Latios. It's really useless for me at this point, and um, really not going to be doing much with it this game, so I'll just sack that instead and then go out in the Fortress. So he actually goes for the Shell Smash again. Really good play on his part because looking at the Earthquake damage, it, it wouldn't have killed him. So he's going to finish me off with an Icicle Spear. Um, but now I'm going to go into Cloister. I mean, not Cloister, Fortress. I know that uh, at full health, I, should, I still should be able to take a plus three Rock Blast because I'm not going Speed Max Defense. Also, Gyro Ball definitely will kill because of the Defense Drop plus the times three Speed. And um, so now I'm just waiting for him. Um, he, I like how the people always um, um, uh, click the battle timer on you, but then they end up taking longer than you, you take, ultimately, which is always funny and ironic. So um, now he goes out to his Breloom after I finish off his uh, Cloyster with a rap or Gyro Ball, not Rapid Spin. Um, now I'm, I'm expecting the Spore or the Swords Dance. In either case, uh, Gladscore would be the best switch in. So he does opt to go for the Spore, so I absorb that because I have the uh, Poison Heal and the Toxic Orb. So um, he goes for Swords Dance here, and uh, I want to get a, a, some more damage on this thing with the Ice Fang and then 
Bullet Seed actually just wrecks me. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Breloom is a huge threat, but it's fine because I can just revenge kill it with the Venusaur. And um, Venusaur uh, should be looking pretty good here. Um, I know I can take a Mach Punch uh, from this Breloom even though it has plus two um, attack because I do resist it. And I do take that not too well though, did like 50%. But I do, I am able to finish off that um, uh, Breloom with the uh, Sludge Bomb. And now he goes into his Heatran. And I'm, and this is why I carry Earthquake on Venusaur. Uh, but it unfortunately fails to kill. If I had Stealth Rocks, that definitely would have been a kill. If I had, you know, four more attack EVs, that definitely would have been a kill. But it doesn't matter because uh, the Earthquake still rendered the Heatran pretty much useless. So it's no big deal for me. So um, I'm just going to Volt Switch with Rotom. He goes out into his Dragonite. And um, I'm going to uh, Volt Switch out into my Ninetales. Now here, uh, I was debating on whether or not to go for the Roar or the Will-O-Wisp. You know, will uh, will wisp would be good for if he wants to Dragon Dance or doesn't have Lumberry, but if he does have Lumberry, then I'm kind of fucked, but luckily for me, he just goes straight for Outrage, and I was kind of th guessing that that might mean that he's banded, so I'm going to go on to Fortress, he has to stay in, so he has to take this Gyro Ball, which will be some nice damage on the uh, Dragonite, and uh, now um, I'm going to uh, go for the Volt Switch, I uh, thought about going for Stealth Rocks, but I figured Volt Switch would be better, and uh, the game rewards me with a crit, so that's good for me, although that crit really didn't matter that much, now he's in... Um, and I'm going to go, I initially clicked Volt Switch, but then I was like, okay, I know the way that he's playing, he's definitely going to switch into Dragonite here, so I think it would be more beneficial for me to um, to burn the Dragonite with Will-O-Wisp, and, kind of and I think getting a burn on the Dragonite would seal the game, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, expecting the Dragonite switch in, because it's really, um, I really have nothing to lose at this point. So he does actually end up switching into the Dragonite, and that pretty much seals the deal for him, um, that prediction right there. So I'm going to Volt Switch out of here. Uh, he, I think he does opt to go for the Outrage. Still does a good amount of damage, though. Uh, but now it's uh, it's pretty much game over. I mean, it is game over, because uh, uh, Dragonite's going to die to the burn, and no matter which Pokemon he switches in, Rotom uh, is going to be able to uh, finish both of them off uh, for the game. So uh, he's thought a lot about uh, quickly about it. Um, I'm just going to click Volt Switch. Uh, he does end up killing me off with the Skull. Nah, not surprising at all. Uh, but now I'm just going to go into the Rotom, Volt Switch the Politoed, and Volt Switch the um, Heatran for the game. So, viewers, I uh, hope you enjoyed these um, couple of battles. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, all the other good stuff. And uh, be sure to check out uh, my previous video. Link will be in the top uh, left hand corner. And uh, I'm out of here. Deuces.